Hi, and uh, welcome back. Sorry it's been a couple of days. Uh, we had some hectic final days at the festival and uh, then we have been uh, traveling a little bit and didn't have any internet. Anyway, we would like to do one last vlog uh, to talk a little bit about some of the plays we saw. There were 22 plays at the Short Play Festival and uh, there were some of them which I thought were absolutely phenomenal. Some of them were not quite to my taste, um, but we'd like to discuss um, a few of our favorite ones. So, Dennis, what yes. was one of the, say, top three or four plays that you saw at the festival? Uh, one favorite of mine was, was clearly Murder in One Act. Uh, it is, you get what you pay for, basically. It is about a murder in one act. It's a comedy, it's, I wouldn't say a spoof, but it, it's a very light-hearted rendition of the classic idea of a locked-up mystery, a murder, and someone of the people present needs to be the murderer, because it, it wouldn't be possible otherwise. It's Agatha Christie meets every comedy done, <laughs> but in such a brilliant and light-hearted way, it was just fun. One of my favourites, probably even a play that, uh, that I'd like to put on as a director, would be um, a play called Seed. Um, what I particularly loved about it, it was a play about four women and their relationships to getting pregnant. Uh, with some of the women wanting to get pregnant, some of them being unwanted pregnant, some of them wanting to get a, um, a termination for their pregnancies. But it's all the relationships between the woman and the pregnancy and also partly towards the men who facilitate the pregnancy. And it was very funny. I thought it was unbelievably well written. Yeah. And it was only an excerpt, but I, I can't wait to read yeah. the full play. Yeah because it was a story of four strong, interesting women, all with their own life stories, and I, I loved it. Yeah, definitely, definitely uh, was a clear favorite. I think of all of us. Yeah. We... Another story about a strong woman uh, that also impressed all of us came from a group from Melbourne uh, called Solus. Yeah, uh, Solus, it's about the daughter of James Joyce, but not focusing on her time in different institutes due to her mental illness or her issues with mental health but focusing on her or how society couldn't deal with her yes, mental yes. health but focusing on a time shortly before that while she was still a dancer and the connections to her family and her life before she was actually put into an institute and it was brilliantly played brilliantly written and i think it elevated the festival it was so beautiful. I think the way the two actresses, uh, James Joyce's daughter and the distant cousin, how they interacted with each other, it was just, it was breathtaking. And the yeah. words, and it was, it just, you were transported to Ireland where it set, and it was just, it was, it was magical. Yeah. Um, a very different character of play that I also liked a lot was a play called uh, Goldmine, which was the story, a short play about two, uh, siblings uh, and uh, one of them is a very successful sporting star and the other is his sort of left behind sister who's an avid horse rider and uh, it's called Goldmine because she starts selling uh, pony poo as she labels it yep, horse she did. Uh, for two dollars a piece and you see all her envy of her brother and it's so beautifully portrayed how she's happy for him but also envious and how he's happy for his success, but how he loves his sister so much and wants to do good stuff for her. And you see two sides of this relationship that are just so different, but they, it's, it's a story of love and also misunderstanding. And it was just so, it, the acting in it was wonderful as well. It was beautifully acted and the ending just, it was nicely written, it, yeah, really good. Um, there, I think there are two more which we should mention, honourably mentions basically, uh, because we as the Schauspielgruppe really like them, mm -hmm. um, but not to the degree that they should be in the top three of everyone. Okay. What's the first one? Uh, the first one is definitely the Mika Pavignon. Mm -hmm. It um, was interesting to see as a play, and I think we all should read it, because it was in the end it was poetry performed on stage, yeah. and it was a beautiful written piece of art. Um, you can't really judge it as a play, though. I think that's why it's not higher up on anyone's list. Yeah. But the language was breathtakingly beautiful. 
I think the other one you're probably referring to is uh, The Killing Shed. Indeed. Um, performed Indeed. Uh, by a wonderful artist here from New Zealand. And it was an excerpt from a, from a play which would have been an hour. And it was, the staging of it was phenomenal. I mean, he used all the space of the stage and he was always, it was a, a one man show and he was just, he was over the stage, he was taping things. And it was his life story. And it was just really moving and beautiful. Yep. And it's another one where it was an excerpt and I just really wish I could see the whole thing performed. Because he is the, the writer and the, uh, the actor. It's just stunning. Yeah. That is exactly what I wanted to say about it, and it was a beautiful excerpt. Okay, well, we don't want to bore you any longer. Um, that's an insight to some of the plays that we uh, saw at the uh, Short Play Festival uh, in Dunedin. Uh, we're very grateful that you watched our vlog. Thank you for joining us, and uh, we will maybe be going to future festivals soon. Who knows? Goodbye.